Hey. Hey, Plantation Kitchen is here. How are you doing? I hope you're doing very well. I am here today to show you how to make a dressing and it's one of my favorite dressing because it has my favorite items in it, um, which is ginger, garlic, and, and uh, miso. Oh my goodness. So, I hope you know what miso is. It's fermented soybeans that is so healthy. It is salty though, but that is from, because it's fermented, it's very healthy and it's probiotic. So it's good for you, okay? And then the tofu has protein. I use silken tofu and it's very mild. Uh, and silken tofu means it's silky. So when you put it with the dressing, it makes everything so smooth and creamy. So you really want to use uh, silken tofu. Do not use anything else for dressing. So that's that's my thing. Um, so what do we need here? Well, I have, um, we're going to blend in a blender. Uh, it might be a little bit noisy, but um, I hope it's okay for you. It's just a little bit of noise and it's over, okay? So bear with me, I appreciate it. So we have one tablespoon of miso. If you wanna write it down, you can. I have, I love garlic, so I have two, but if you don't, you can use one clove of garlic, so. And then I have here something to make it a little sweet because it's so salty. I put two dates. You can use one date, or if you're on uh, weight loss, do not use anything. You don't have to. But it is good and then look at the ginger it's supposed to be a small piece of ginger however I love ginger and I like it really strong in my dressing in my food in my even drinks so I use a lot of ginger and then one glass of water then we're going to have three cups of um, rice vinegar I buy it from Trader Joe's who doesn't love Trader Joe's oh yeah I do why <laughs> I wish they have a uh, stocks so I can buy it. I asked them one time and they go, no, we don't have the stocks for the public, so that's okay. Um, and then I have, I wanna show you how to cut the ginger. You don't really have to, I buy a lot of ginger. This is just what's left from yay much. Um, so instead of peeling it with a peeler, you don't have to, you just scrape it. I scrape it and it's really easy because it comes off real easy. You scrape it like that with a knife so you don't take any skin out, just the outer layer that you don't need. Uh, and some people, if it's really organic, you can brush it and put even the skin with it, but I am not. So here we go. Let's try. So we have all the ingredients and I'm going to just pulse it in here. I don't know if you can see my maybe maybe oh that has to come a little further out here right okay I'm sorry I can't bring it because it is too short however I'm going to go and turn this out a little bit so you can see okay all right here we go just a turn there we go now we can see it all right here I am back ah maybe you can see my a new thing here that I bought Today, I finally bought jackfruit, fresh jackfruit. Oh my God, this is going to be fun to work with later and uh, just invent something with it. It's fresh, it's first time I'm buying fresh, so yes. All right, here we go. First, we're going to add the tofu, silken tofu. It calls for one, one cup, but I have an extra, and I, when I open this, I don't want to toss half of it. Might as well put the whole thing. And then we're going to add the garlic. Just add everything in there. I hope you have a good blender that blends. If you don't, um, kind of a little tough, but you can do by, by hand. Um, yeah, no, I don't think so. It will, it will have to be uh, with a regular blender. So one tablespoon of miso. If you want to see miso, this is a, a miso that can be from different... Um, grains it could be soy it could be chickpeas it could be mung beans it could be different but i have this one is soy 
So I'm going to put um, um, the wonderful, um, um, God, what is that? Um, <laughs> I totally forgot what that is, but you know what? You can see it. It states, damn, Elizabeth, wake up. I think I'm excited about this. <laughs> okay, all right. So now we're going to put a um, whole two to three inches of ginger. If you don't like ginger, just make it a little less, okay? But I'm going to just chop it smaller and then add it to it. Okay, here we go. And then water. One cup of full water. So blend it together. And then three tablespoon of rice vinegar. Rice vinegar is going to make it really tang tangy. Two and three. Yeah, and this will last for a long time. So even if you make more of it, you can always store it in a glass jar and put it in the fridge and use it whenever you're ready, okay? So here we go. Here comes the noise. It will be short and quick. So I'm going to put it on, um, let's see. Yes. Uh, let's see. Dips and sauces. <laughs> From that point on, the whole kitchen I had to clean, so I had to put my hand on it. So from now, from that point on, I always put my hand on, just in case. <laughs> I guess, I guess you probably looked at it and said, "Why well, she's having her hand on?" So here we go. We got a creamy. Oh, we got a creamy. I'm going to taste it, guys. I'm tasting it for you. Oh my goodness, that garlic was amazing, amazing. So here you go, a dressing that will last for a long time. Put it in a jar, keep it in the fridge, and voila, we're done. Yay, ginger miso dressing. I'm going to put it on my salad tonight. And there we go. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please let me know. I am looking forward again for my jackfruit, the fresh one that I got. And I will let you know what I'm going to do with it. Bye.